when they hate it, didn't think we make it How they break they neck just to look at me Remember when I called you and you didn't fall through Now you hit yourself, you can look at me, look at me What's good with y'all? Alright, so what are we getting into today? Today, we're about to be doing a drift preparation and finishing up the 350Z and getting this thing ready to get some skids in. You guys know that I am planning on doing the gender reveal tomorrow. So, today we're going to just be going over necessary steps to get this thing right. Remember I told you guys that the rear end was making noise, the bushings were shot. So, um, yesterday off cam... I ended up going to uh, Hexa Garage. I had them build me a, a whole new rear subframe. Uh, we did bushings and everything in there. I had them build me a brand new diff. White Aaron's gonna be getting the new uh, rear subframe in, the new diff and everything in. And then I have to go get this thing aligned. That way um, we're all ready for tomorrow. So uh, yeah, that's kind of what we're getting into today. We are cutting it close. Got a lot of work to do today. Uh, hopefully my boy White Aaron can knock this all out and we should be good to go uh, for tomorrow so tomorrow they have like a little uh, go-kart track so we're going to be doing the reveal on the go-kart track uh, they're letting me use it for about two three hours this will be the first time that i've slid the 350z with the lsa i don't even think i've drifted this thing when it was na with the ls so hmm Either way, I'm not I'm not too worried about it. You feel me? I got the bars, you know what I'm saying? You already know your boy got the skills, so you feel me? I slide whatever. I'll slide anything. Anything with four wheels or rear wheel drive, feel me? Your boy could slide that like. So with all that being said, man, let's get ready to head out. You gonna be finished today. This thing I felt like a new car reference today. All right, and for those that didn't see the dyno video, we actually did turn this thing quite up a bit. The whole time you guys have been seeing this thing, it's been about uh, 10 degrees of timing or so. 10 degrees, we made like 560, and then we ended up doubling the timing now. So now it's currently at 20 degrees. We made 700 horsepower, almost 700 foot-pounds of torque, but we were having an issue where we had... Um, we were having fuel pressure drop and i did this fuel system a long time ago so it does have a return setup it has a single 450 pump it should be enough to to support the 700 but i did this fuel system a long time ago when this car was uh, supercharged so i haven't you know upgraded the fuel system for the for the new setup but i mean currently we lowered the limiter to 6k and at 6k we're making about six 650 or so with like 650 foot pounds of torque so I mean, it's enough for me to uh, get the job done for the video, but I do need to address the fuel system. And I think the way I want to do it is I'll probably add a, a, a dual pump setup, but in a surge tank. That way in the future, if I do slide this thing, I don't have to worry about the, the fuel sloshing. So I'll probably end up just adding a surge tank to it and maybe pulling this thing down in the future since we're, you know, redoing the fuel system and we have a lot left in here. But anywho, I don't know y'all don't want to hear no future plans crap. So let's great head out, warm this thing up and then we out of here. Thank you. 
back there howling, boy. But yeah, with the now that we actually have timing in it, the map all cleaned up, dude, this thing is nasty now. Like, it is extremely violent. I can't wait to see how this thing feels drifting with all this torque. having like a thousand more rpms to go so having a 6k limiter right now is just like Ugh. but man this thing still moves i just wish i had my rpms but we'll get those back once we address this freaking pressure drop but man this thing feels like the torque curve is like hella flat so this thing just feels insane They're building me another uh, subframe. I told them I didn't want solid bushings. So once this one comes out, um, I'm going to have them rebuild rebuild that one with the poly stuff. With the poly stuff. And uh, I figured out uh, how to get the gearing longer on the on here. Because, you know, we only can get a 3.3. Yeah. But I guess the Q45 has a 2.9 ring. And you can swap the ring in there oh, really? to make it a 2.9. So it would be closer to vet gearing. If, if, dude, if I get some longer gears in here, oh, pff. Game over. It's cookie dough. Now we just need to figure out traction. <laughs> I'm gonna put the once I kill these tires, I'm gonna put the R Triple A's back on. Oh yeah. So I mean it's money, but now you know like nothing else works. <laughs> yeah. My errands at the house already starting to take that thing apart. I'm on my way to O'Reilly's real quick. I need to go grab some exhaust manifold gaskets. Trying to play me, they ain't no no better. On me, you can call me Chris Webber. Brand new whip with the brand new leather. Pitching now, I made plays, so they all look jealous. Oh my god, now they all look jealous. Brand new drip, hope they all got umbrellas. Y'all don't fit in, call them all Cinderella's. And I heard your last shit, dog, you can do better. You ain't got shit on me, homie, that's facts. I just bought a new crib, I buy another for the tax. We ain't in the same league, we ain't in the same bracks. I ain't made a joint yet, they already know it slaps. 
Now I need the dollars. Got a new girl and she look like Madonna. Found a new flow and it's hot like the sauna. Buying these stocks, I don't care about designer. Trying to play me, they ain't know no better. Perp on me, you can call me Chris Webber. Brand new whip with the brand new leather. And now I made play, so they all look jealous. Trying to play me, they ain't know no better. Perp on me, you can call me Chris Webber. Brand new whip with the brand new leather. And now I made play, so they all look jealous. Staying high with the mace, sipping wine to the face. Drown sent me from the door, it's a line at the place. I'm at home in the mitten, I got ties in LA. I probably pull a pack crown and a fly over state. Lies spread quicker than the truth. If you always talking about me, they know more about you. Worry back, set the rest of on the place. If they don't pay me to respond, then I gotta walk away. BNB, elevation high, laying low. I'm with the ten who's down to fucking cook me shit I got from Trader Joe's. Say they making moves, but we making more. I stay in the zone, y'all just staying broke, way to go. Tryna play me, they ain't know no better. Perp on me, you can call me Chris Webber. Brand new whip with the brand new leather. And now I made play, so they all look jealous. Tryna play me, they ain't know no better. Perp on me, you can call me Chris Webber. So, Osa frame out. Aaron's, Aaron's angry. Yeah, it just, it sucks working when it's dirty. Oh, yeah, it's hella dirty. Looks like Look sand. Caked on shit. It's ridiculous. My arm looks like it, but fill it in. <laughs> shop dust, man. For all you auto body shops out there. All right, so y'all can see the new subframe all in. Aaron's chopping away now. He's kind of on cruise control now. Oh, yeah. Just assembling it all back together. All right, while well, Mike ran to go get the last V-band, we are having an issue with the V-band on this one right here, but you can see new diff in, new subframe in, everything's all ready to go. Last thing that we gotta do is, he's got a nasty exhaust leak, so we're gonna use this new gaskets, but I did find that this bolt, I don't know if you can see, but I'm able to turn it with my fingers probably where the exhaust leak's coming from. But now that it's blown out, it's probably bad, so we're gonna just go ahead and replace it and then be on the way to the alignment. All right, so everything's all finished up. New rear end in. Aaron just uh, replaced the exhaust manifold gasket. So we shouldn't have no more exhaust leak. All back together. And back on the ground, so. I'm about to uh, be on my way to SAC right now. We've got an alignment appointment for 5.30. So probably gonna be a little bit late, but we should be able to make it there. Make sure no more exhaust leak. boys we are here we made it to the alignment shop man this thing like i still need to figure out why in traffic when it just gets like the the motor doesn't get hot coolant temps are fine but i notice anytime the supercharger temps get about 130 the car just shuts off and it doesn't want to cut back on so i don't i don't know what's getting heat soaked but I really need to figure that out. Uh, I really think it's probably the throttle body. It's super close to the radiator. The fans probably don't help it by pulling hot air directly to it. So uh, I need a way to kind of check that, but it only happens when it's super hot or this thing starts getting heat soaked. Other than that, when you're driving, everything's fine, but sitting in traffic for too long, it just wants to die. So I don't know. I gotta, I gotta see if I can replicate that. We tried to replicate it on the dyno and we couldn't get it to do it. But maybe we just need to run it longer on the dyno with no fans or something on it and just get it super hot. But coolant temps are like perfect. It's just, I don't know. Maybe I need to get a bigger heat exchanger or put a fan on the back of the heat exchanger or something. But I gotta figure this out. I like That is like so annoying with this thing, man. All right, just seeing this little wire up here. Looked like the zip tie broke. Kind of touched the header, so probably zip tie that back up or something once it cooled down. Also got a little oil leak right here. I never get to get under this thing, so. Probably uh, reseal the pan and all that stuff after I do this gender reveal for y'all. Stuff caked on there. Want to just get it all sealed up and cleaned up. Other than that, everything seems to be cool. Trans got a little crap on it. 
Is it leaking back here? Yep. Figures. The seal's leaking a little bit. But I've been wanting to do a brand new trans anyway, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, y'all can see all the bushings and everything. Everything all good. No leaks on the diff, nope. And you guys know I have the, the Z1 cover, but since I'm gonna be having that diff rebuilt with the uh, the 2.9 or 2.7 gearing, we just threw this in here, but we are gonna be swapping this out for the other diff later. Oh yeah. The camera's a way high. What, the front caster? Yeah. Yeah, we love front caster. I knew that downward is like it's pitching. Yeah, so on I like for you know how we have a lot of caster, you let go of the wheel, it comes back for you. Right, but it depends on how fast you want it. That how fast you want it. So if you lower this, you can make it so it kind of flicks and you can throttle control. Right. I mean, we could try it. It's up to you. Like, I've always really do on my on my S13. I used to have like 10 degrees. Oh I used to God. take the I used to take the freaking the lock off and pull it all the way forward. That's how one of my buddies was. He had like a nine on his 240. I'm like, bro, let me slow this down. I slowed it down to a seven. He's like, bro, I don't even have to touch the fucking wheel. Like, it drives <laughs> itself now. I mean, we can, um, we'll see what we can get it down so to. If that's the case. I'll bring this down to like let's get it to like at least the eight. Let's do it. Let's get it to like eight. Eight, eight. I'm gonna try your alignment. You give me what you want to give me. Let me try that. So I'm gonna add. All right, so just went in there, paid our tab. Alignment's all done. We're gonna see how this thing does tomorrow. Woo! Can't wait, can't wait. Just get into the house on that last pull. Something came off because we have no boost. So, oh, yep, there we go. See it right there. Belt's hanging off. Where'd it come off at, though? Yeah, I need to get this back on, but I gotta let it cool off for a minute. <sighs> Once this cools off, I'll, I'll get this back on. I'm about to uh, wrap this up, but I'm going to fix this tonight. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Maybe I'll go in here, edit this video first, and then come back outside later tonight when this is all cooled off and get this all situated because I'm not going to have time to really do it in the morning because we're leaving here super early to get to the track. But I'm glad this happened now versus uh, at the track. So at least I can come prepared and bring extra belts with me. Hopefully the tensioner didn't take a shit or something. This belt's not messed up, so I'm going to throw it back on there. But yeah, anywho, man, tomorrow, gender reveal day. See y'all tomorrow. I'm going too crazy. These niggas too shady. Speed limit 65. I'm about to do 80. Fuck the niggas say no. I'm going to come up. You can go to speed, but it's better.